Now I wanted to tell you the lovely story of two dogs today. Billy, who's with me here, and Sandy, who is a new arrival who we rescued uh, about 12 days ago now. Billy uh, has got some really, really big news. If you know Billy from his original rescue, he was smashed over the head um, with some sort of blade, had horrific um, brain trauma, PTSD he actually had. But Billy on Monday morning, believe it or not, he's going all the way to Huahin, which is about a thousand kilometers away, and he's gonna get the cataracts in his eyes fixed. So Billy's gonna be getting his sight back um, on about next Thursday. So he's going there for a few tests first, make sure his brain is recovered okay, and then he's gonna be getting his, um, his eyesight back if everything goes well. Um, but I wanted to tell you really about the role that Billy has had with a wonderful new arrival, uh, which is lovely little Sandy. Sandy was a dog who was, we got a message online, he was living in a cave, he'd been spotted, uh, scavenging for food, the local dogs had been bullying him. He was only, I didn't realise that when I first went to rescue him, but he was only three months old, um, tiny little puppy, and really he's very scrawny, uh, absolutely terrified. We had to, uh, I called Jules um, for backup, got him penned into a cave, and had to sort of pull him out by the legs. He was absolutely terrified. Okay, okay. That's no need to be scared now. Slowly, there you go, there you go. Okay, 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 just relax, just relax. But we did eventually manage to catch him, um, and thank God, because he was out there all on his own. And once we got him in here, it didn't get any better. He was absolutely terrified. But luckily, little Billy here was one of the reasons why he um, came out of his shell. It was a very, very slow process, but um, Billy was able to sort of, even though Billy's blind, I think he put little Sandy at ease. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and uh, swap Billy, put him back in and get Sandy out and show you the progress. This has been a remarkable recovery from Sandy. In just 12 days, you're not gonna believe how amazing he's doing. He's learning a lot. One of the craziest parts about Sandy's rescue that Maybe you didn't notice unless you follow me on Instagram stories, but it was completely scary. So obviously we caught him and brought him back here to the land. And what happened then was the scariest thing ever. He escaped. So we'd gone to all this effort to catch him and he'd become uh, not friendly because he was still absolutely terrified of us. But what we did is we sort of get them to decompress. And so we put him in his little, uh, we call them suites, they're actually kennels. But we put him in his little hotel suite, uh, which is just behind me there. But he actually escaped. If you see that little hole down at the bottom uh, left hand corner, just uh, beside me, he crawled his way through there in the middle of the night. So it was Jules who came in in the morning and she messaged me at quarter to seven. I think she called me actually, and she was like, Sandy's gone. And I was like, what do you mean he's gone? And Sandy was actually gone. So he'd escaped for a second time. Not for a second time, we had to rescue him for a second time. He was over here in the jungle. That's where he was hiding. But it wasn't uh, before five of us. I called everybody obviously, and I was like, oh my God, I felt so stupid. I was like, I've told everybody we've rescued this dog and now he's escaped. So I can't really explain how stressful a situation like that is. He'd escaped, we lost him, but we, we scarred the streets like high and low. We were on the mopeds, we were in cars, we were like about a one mile ra radius and he was just over there in the hedges, little Sandy. Pulled him out, saved him for the second time. He was gone for about six hours uh, before we found him. So six hours in total. Six of the most terrifying hours ever. Um, but we found him and we got him back and that's when his recovery started with little Billy. Now, one thing that would help us massively as you watch this video and see Sandy's lovely recovery is if you could just hit the subscribe button. It does help us massively spread the word about the dogs and uh, get the word out there about street dogs and helping as many as possible like little Sandy. So a subscribe would help massively. Now I've picked up little Sandy, as you can see, he's an absolute cutie and I'm taking him to his favorite place in the world, which is to play with the other dogs, Rusty and Libby, who had been on chains. Um, he's got a smart bandana on. He's a lot better now. I mean, when he came in, Mr. Sandy, you can hear the dogs are excited because their best friend is coming. When little Sandy came in, oh, 
got to open the gate um, and put, pop him in there. When he came in, he was terrified. He was hiding down uh, the back of the couch. He was burying his head into anywhere he could bury his head into, he would bury it into. Um, but you can see now that he's in here with his friends, Rusty and um, uh, Rusty and Libby, which are two dogs who were on the chains before. Now the dogs are all playing around me, you can see there. I just wanted to tell you how hard it was for little Rusty at the start. Our little Sandy, sorry, he's such good friends with Rusty now, it's insane. Um, but when he first came in 12 days ago, all he knew was that little cave. He was so scared that he would literally hide down the back of the couch. He didn't know how to interact with other dogs. Look at him now, he's trying to boss, uh, trying to boss big Rusty around. Um, he was a terrified little dog, but it only took him literally less than about a week to come alive. But Sandy, from being in that cave, from being terrified, from really just, like he wouldn't have survived. I'm not exaggerating that one bit. He would not have survived um, on his own because he's too small, too frail, and the other dogs were picking on him. We got him just in time to get him socialized. He didn't want anything to do with the world, but he quickly figured out with the help of Rusty and little Billy, uh, he's come out of his shell. So, so love to see that. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> You're in with the right people now, Sandy. Sandy's got a big future now, as do all of these dogs, and I'm going to tell you about what that future is now. I'm going to go somewhere a little bit cooler uh, because it's absolutely roasting out here. You can see them hiding in their little shelters, although Sandy would play non-stop if he could get away with it. Look at him. What a beauty. Now, Mr. Sandy and me are off somewhere a little bit cooler. Um, it's really, really hot here. It's crazy how hot it is. Have to be careful with dogs like Sandy because if anything, he wants to play too much and he's not, um, he's not used to this heat. So just have to keep him with loads of water. And I actually have to stop him playing for his own good at the moment and take him into places like the office where it's a little bit cooler and he can sit on my knee. There he is. The plan for Sandy is, uh, well, he's already on the website. He's got, I think, over 50 applications the last time I checked. And you can see he's totally relaxed now. He just likes sitting in with his humans, which is amazing really when you consider where he was less than two weeks ago. And it just shows that dogs need a little bit of, a little bit of structure and crucially some other dog um, friends. He was young enough at three months that we got him in time. But the beauty is uh, we are also able to get him vaccinated. He's not quite old enough to get him sterilized yet. Look at those big paws. Look at that. I think he's going to be, I saw it with Rodney, he's going to be a, a medium dog. His dogs, his paws look a little bit bigger than, um, he looks like he's going to grow into some sort of massive big giant. But I think he'll grow to a medium dog. He likes his green bandanas. Um, but Sandy is really really relaxed as you can see um so just to explain the process that he's now going to go on it's going to take about four months he has to be seven months old before he can travel he we have to do interviews with all his prospective owners to make sure he gets a a really nice home and then in that time he's going to continue to socialize so billy is going to get his uh, operation on uh monday uh so he'll be gone for about seven or eight days so uh little sandy's gonna have to fare on his own without billy but when billy comes back he's gonna have his eyesight back which is you know mind-blowing imagine that little billy no eyesight and he's suddenly gonna be able to see his his little friend sandy so it was a hard rescue for sandy it was a tough world but look at him now you couldn't really come across a happier dog i don't think anywhere in the world. Little Sandy has a fairy tale ending, but it's only gonna get better from here on. He'll socialize and he will become a very friendly, even friendlier than he is dog before he heads to his forever home, which could be anywhere in the world once he's ready to travel. Well done, little Sandy, you've made it. Oh, Mr. Sandy, Mr. Sandy. Are you excited? In you go. In to see your best friend, Rusty. Oh, look at you, Sandy. Oh, Rusty's happy to see you. He's happy to see you. <laughs>